The man accused of installing a camera in his neighbor's bathroom faced a judge this morning. 48 year old Brian Burnett is charged with invasive visual recording, which is a state jail felony. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers inside the courtroom where the hearing just wrapped up. Brittany. Yes, Lisa. In fact, we just walked out of that courtroom about 15 minutes ago. We spoke with bro both the prosecutor and the defense attorney afterwards. But we can tell you that Brian Burnett has bonded out of jail and he was inside of the courtroom today during that initial appearance. And to give you some more background on this particular case, the 48 year old is accused of accessing a shared attic of drilling a hole and placing a tiny camera into his neighbor's bathroom. Harris County Sheriff's investigators say that footage returned retrieved on the camera's SD card showed his female neighbor showering and drying off. They say another clip shows the camera being installed in that attic space beforehand. According to the charging documents, a third clip shows a man identified as the suspect nude in his own bathroom. Now, the alleged victim discovered this camera after finding numerous holes in her bathroom ceiling. Now, I mentioned we did catch up with the prosecutor following this appearance. We also spoke with Burnett's attorney who maintained that her client is innocent. It's not guilty, innocent. And I mean innocent. I don't mean, be, you know, guilty beyond, not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. He's innocent. Anyone who visited could have been recorded at the time that the videos were in place. But again, I haven't reviewed the uh, footage myself. And as of now, we just have one recorded complainant. And we do want to mention as part of his bond conditions set today, the judge says that Burnett can move back into that duplex. That alleged victim has since moved out, but according to prosecutors, another tenant is scheduled to move back into that space in February. Now, prosecutors had an issue with this. They said that this could potentially create a, a safety concern. The judge did go ahead and lift this restriction. However, he says he wants an update on this case and they will reconvene next week. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Hey, Brittany, thank you for the update.